Hey guys, it's uh, Wiltshire again, showing you how to uh, hack your 2000 uh, TA88 V3 motherboards and 3000s. Yes, it's a dream come true. What you first need to do is to activate chicken. I've already got it activated because uh, chances of getting it to work is uh, sometimes a pain. Alright, what you need to do is uh, download custom firmware enabler, which will be in the description. It's uh, right here. That's what it'll look like. What you want to do is to start it up. I'm using a 2000. Mine doesn't. Mine's not a TA88 V3 motherboard though, um, so it might not work. What you want to do is press a flash and start. So do you want to proceed install to install custom firmware and flash? Press yes. If it was good, then it'll say successfully installed. Would you want to start it? Press yes. It'll start it. It'll uh, go back to your XMB. As you can see here, now go down to system settings, system information, and there it is. And that's basically all there is to uh, custom firmware enabler. And what it does also is uh, you can go back into it, start it up again. What it does is it gives you the M33 module, so you can it runs like M33 uh, Flash software, but it uh, actually lies in your RAM. So it, uh, when you turn it off, it goes away. So make sure you don't turn it off. If you flash the Pops module, it already has Pops. It's a uh, 5.03 uh, native Pops, so you don't need to do anything there. Um, you can change the version. The the version, sorry. Um, it says you need to flash. You can change it to a bunch of stuff. See, I'm not gonna do anything. You can change the CPU speed, the registry hacks, basically everything that the M33 um, recovery menu has. There's a bunch of options here. Uh, you can you know just do stuff. And that's about it on how to hack your PSP 2000 and 3000. I'll show you guys the tutorial on how to make PlayStation One games but make sure you do them legally and last but not least it has the VHS menu alright see you guys next time